Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the virtual college fair for all Virginia students, sponsored by the Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Counselors and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. And this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at strivescan.com slash Virginia. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, strivescan.com slash Virginia. Now I'll turn it over to our presenters. We are here in session B2 this evening. So first up, we'll hear from the University of Lynchburg. All right, welcome to the University of Lynchburg. My name is Gabby Jones. I'm an admissions counselor here for the Virginia Tidewater area, as well as North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas. In the chat box, I do have one of my colleagues, Riley Harris. So feel free to ask any questions if you have any today. So at the University of Lynchburg, we're known as one of the colleges that changed lives. Changing lives is what we do best and it shows. We rank among the, the region's best colleges and universities, and we're one of the best values around. Lynchburg instantly feels like family and becomes your second home forever. We have about 2,000 undergraduate students and 1,000 graduate students. We have small classes with big ideas and one-on-one -on -one interaction. Our class sizes are typically about 16 with an 11 to 1 faculty staff ratio. We offer more than 100 majors, minors, and pre-professional programs. We probably have what you're looking for, and if you change your mind, you have choices. And if you don't know, you can explore to find what fits you best. Maybe you already know what you want to be, a physician assistant, physical therapist, or even an athletic trainer. We have these pathways to hold seats for Lynchburg students in our master's or doctorate programs. Make sure to check out our website for more information at Direct Admit Pathways. Learning by doing is a core principle of Lynchburg's education. Here are a few examples. Criminology majors learn fingerprinting, practice surveillance tactics, and even turn campus into a mock crime scene. Our health sciences majors have the opportunity to participate in clinicals for an internship and explore the human body with our animatage table and cadaver lab. Our business students use real funds from the university, university's endowment to buy and sell on real financial markets. And another core principle at the University of Lynchburg is high impact learning. It helps you take your education to the next level. So what does this mean? It's internships. Our Career and Professionalism Center is here to help you find an internship to connect you to your future career. Nick built telescope parts on a 3D printer for the Belk Observatory. He even used his research to earn a highly competitive internship with the Department of Energy. And it's study abroad. Almost one third of our students study abroad. Our students study in Vietnam, Iceland, India, Guatemala, Italy, and all over the world. There are opportunities and scholarships that make study abroad an option for everyone. And finally, it's about research. More than half of our students do research with their professors. It's a big reason so many of our students get into graduate school. And in the lab or out, your professors will know your name. Their main goal is to support you and help you succeed. And we're invested in your future and ready to help you find and reach your goals. Here's what a few graduates are doing now. Landon is a professional gamer and his Call of Duty team has almost 800,000 subscribers on YouTube. Nat was getting paying gigs from nationally recognized athletic teams before she even graduated. Now she shoots photos full time for Duke Athletics. Jamar is a senior policy coordinator with the Department of Health and Human Services and serves as our alumni board chair. Emily has mentored several communication students and is senior manager of audience at USA Today. And Francesca is head of American Solutions and architecture at customer success for Amazon. Twice a year, our alumni come back for Hornet to Hornet where they meet, network with, and advise our current students. It's not all about studying at the University of Lynchburg. After class, there's always something to do with your friends at Lynchburg fraternity and sorority life, 70 clubs, and more than 2,000 events every year. We promise you won't get bored. We're pretty serious about our sports here too. 
More than half of our students are involved in sports in one way or another. And we're the only D3 team streaming games online at ESPN3. College should be an adventure and we have adventures galore. The Outdoor Leadership Program takes students rafting, hiking, caving, and more. It's affordable too. Most of our trips are under $15. So come and visit us on campus or even virtually. We have virtual tours located on our website. Our on-campus visits are from 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. and sometimes on select Saturdays. We do have a virtual open house coming up on November 19th. So what's next? apply. The fastest results will be from applying on our website, but we also are on the Common App and the Coalition App. Then after you apply, you send us your FAFSA to get the best financial aid package. In order to apply, all we need is a high school transcript as well as an application. Our optional materials are going to be your SAT, ACT, a letter of recommendation, or an essay. At Lynchburg, you'll get a life-changing education at affordable price, but more than that, you'll find friends for life and a place you can always call home. Thank you. All right, and up next is Shepherd University. Hi everyone, um, my name is Kayla. I'm one of the admissions counselors from Shepherd University. Thank you all for joining us here tonight. Um, I'm excited to tell you a little bit more about us and why we are a great option for your college education. First, I wanna start by saying we are in the perfect location. We are located right along the Potomac River, as you can see in this photo. Uh, we are in the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia, but you cross those bridges as you can see and you're right back in Maryland. So we're about an hour and a half from the Baltimore DC area. Um, we are close to those bigger cities, but yet we are removed from them. And we are near a bunch of history and battlefields. Um, so again, just stressing that great location. Our students are truly the heartbeat of our campus. We have just under 4,000 students with a 60-40 male to female split. Most of our students do come from West Virginia, but the other 40% of those students are coming from, um, we have students from 31 different countries and representation from all 50 states. So in terms of academics, here at Shepherd, we offer over 100 majors and concentrations. You will experience small classroom sizes. Our average classroom size has about 20 students and we have a 13 to one student faculty ratio. So you're really gonna to get to build that um, relationship with your professors and have that one-on-one -on -one attention from them. The college is all about preparing you for your career. We do that by providing our students with real world experiences through internships, um, field experience, clinical rotations and student teaching. Usually this happens between your junior and senior year. And this is really gonna help build a skill set that you can take um, further after your college education and hopefully put to use in your career. So in terms of campus life, we have over 90 clubs and organizations. We constantly have events going on at campus that are open to all of our students. And we are a division two athletic school. So it's pretty common to see our students tailgating at our football games or in the student section at our basketball games. There's really something always going on at campus to get students involved. In terms of residence halls, we offer three styles of housing, uh, traditional suite and apartment style living, which all include free laundry. We do have four dining locations, which our meal plans are accepted at all four. And yes, uh, students can have cars on campus, even as a freshman, you just have to pay for a parking pass. So in terms of financial aid, we are an affordable option. So from an out-of-state student, so if you're coming from Virginia, you're looking at about $28,000 per year, uh, but that is before any uh, scholarships, aids, loans, or grants are applied. I know sometimes that sticker price can be scary, um, but we do have some scholarships I'd like to highlight to help out with that cost. 
First, I want to mention our academic scholarship. This can range from three to five thousand per year, depending on your GPA and your test scores. And also, I want to highlight our Metro scholarship, which is five thousand and five thousand five hundred dollars per year. To be eligible for that uh, scholarship, you just have to be coming from Virginia and living on campus. Both of these scholarships are renewable for all four years, and you do not have to apply for them. Uh, they are awarded automatically when you apply. So what do we need if you're ready to apply? We're going to need your official high school transcripts. Uh, this year for spring and fall 2021, we are going to be test score optional. So with that being said, we are strongly encouraging a personal statement and any letter of recommendations. This really gets uh, allows us to get to know you as a student as a whole. So what's next? Now that you've learned a little bit more about Shepherd, I would say go explore our website, uh, see what all we have to offer, and then come visit. We did just start our in-person tours up again. They are limited to one family. Um, you can sign up for a visit on our website and come check us out, and we will have a virtual visit up soon if you are not comfortable coming to visit us yet. And then lastly, I would just say apply. We are accepting applications for spring and fall of 2021. You can apply right on our website or we are a member of the Common App. And as always, uh, here's our contact info. We are here to help with any questions that you may have. We do have a texting line that our admissions counselors are on during business hours, or you can give us a call or shoot us an email. And that is all I have for you guys. So thank you for listening. All right, so then we'll hear from Winston-Salem State University. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shanetta Millett, and I serve as the dual and transfer admissions coordinator for Winston-Salem State University. Um, with just a couple points of pride for Winston-Salem State. Um, let's start out, we are um, based in North Carolina, the central part of North Carolina in the triad. So we are... Um, probably about two hours away, depending on what part of Virginia you are you are in. Um, we are a historical black college and university as well. Um, we were founded in 1892. We are a middle-sized um, campus. We're not as big, so we have the opportunity to have that intimate connection with you as students, where you're more of a name and not a number. Um, our students and faculty ratio is 16 to one. So again, um, another opportunity to know your classmates as well as your professors who are also there to um, tutor you as well. I know um, a lot of students have had that experience in the past, that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, our model at WSSU is enter to learn, depart to serve. So we do um, take pride in making sure that we, um, that you're equipped with everything that you need by the time that you depart from our university to serve the, your community. We are number one in North Carolina in the UNC system um, for graduates receiving jobs. So if job placement is something that's already on your mind, uh, we can more than likely help you take care of that. As far as our freshman requirements, um, such as some of the other institutions, we are waiving test scores this semester. So the only thing that we're looking for is a 2.8 weighted GPA. Um, if you do not fall within that GPA that, we, that is required, we're looking for the top 35 percentile. And um, if you would like to send in your, your test scores, you can still do that. Um, for Virginia, I know some of the minimal course requirements are slightly different. So for the um, state of North Carolina, we do require four maths. Um, that is an algebra two, more, most importantly, um, a math beyond the algebra two and two foreign languages. I think I see that more than anything from Virginia that is usually missed. So keep that in mind if interested. Okay, so some of our academic offerings, we have more than 40 um, bachelor degrees. Um, out of those 40, we have um, the top five, or excuse me, the top six, which are nursing. We're known for our nursing program, um, as well as our social work, business administration, sports science, also known as kinesiology. If you're looking to um, become a physical therapist or occupational therapist, we have that option for you under this major and an accelerated program for our doctoral program for physical therapy. Um, we were founded on education and we do have an on-site daycare if you're looking for your hands for hands-on opportunities to um, get within your um, career choice. We also have biology and under that we have two tracks where you can um, either do pre-med or pre-dental if you're interested in furthering your education in those fields. 
um, with you all being out-of-state students, you're looking at about 28,594. Um, as far as the health insurance, we will waive that if you do have insurance under your parents. So that is a nice chunk knocked off of your um, tuition as well. So life over RIM, student activities and engagement. We have um, numerous study abroad opportunities for you throughout the year. Um, also research and internship opportunities. We are a research campus. So if you're looking to um, dabble more into research, we have the opportunity for you, along with career expos that you can take advantage of all four years that you're there. Um, we have over 100 plus student organizations. If we don't have one out of that 100 that you're looking for, you can always grab about two or three of your friends and start your own, which we highly encourage if that's something that you're looking to do. Um, we also have Student Government Association if you're interested in being a Mr. and Mrs. WSSU or just a representative of, your, of this institution. Um, as well as Greek organizations, we have 16 total and we do house the Divine Nine. As far as our athletics, we are CIAA Conference Division II. Um, the sports that we have are listed here, which are football, basketball for both men and women, um, cheerleading co-ed, cross country is co-ed, track and field unfortunately is just for women, um, but for my males, if you're interested, you can join the cross country team, softball, tennis, and volleyball as well. Just a couple of things to do around campus um, and on campus. We have the Dix Art Gallery, so if you're looking to um, exhibit some of your artwork, we have that opportunity on our campus through our um, renowned art gallery. Also, we're about 15 minutes from downtown Winston-Salem where there's tons of fun and lots of things to do. We are an art-based and innovation-based um, city, so you have a lot of opportunities to engage in those um, type of activities. I mean, as you can see to the right in this picture, this is the Donald Julian Reeves um, Student Center. And with, within there, we have a gymnasium, about three floors um, housed in there, as well as workout rooms for dance, yoga, physical therapy, or excuse me, physical training. So for my exercise science students, you have an opportunity again to have that hands-on experience um, with some of your um, classmates. We also have a Chick-fil-A and Subway house in there, um, as well as a couple other eateries and a game room. So if you're interested in just doing more things um, outside of just the educational portion, we have all that to offer. If, you're, um, if you are interested, these are the social media platforms that we are available on if you wanna stay up to date with, with what Winston-Salem State um, has to offer. And if you have any questions, um, this is my contact information. Again, I'm Shanetta Millette, I'm the Dual and Transfer Admissions Program Coordinator, and I look forward to speaking with you all at a later date. Thank you so much for your attendance. Great, so then we'll hear from the University of Tennessee. All right, <clears throat> good evening guys. My name is Amanda Walk and I am a regional admissions representative for the University of Tennessee. So I'm based in Virginia and I just work with students from Virginia to help you through the application process. So first I'll start off by telling you a little bit about our location. Um, we are located in the Eastern part of Tennessee in Knoxville. Um, it's about eight hours from Northern Virginia, about six hours from Richmond and about four hours from Roanoke. So close enough where you can still drive home if you want to, but far enough away where you can get a completely different experience um, than I think any other university in Virginia. There's a lot of things that are unique about the University of Tennessee. But our campus is very, um, is very, very centrally located in downtown Knoxville. Um, the campus is also very enclosed within the city. So you kind of get that college town feel. Everything is very centrally located on campus and not more than a 10 or 15 minute walk. Um, but you step off campus and you're in downtown Knoxville where there's lots of fun things to do, um, lots of great restaurants and also good opportunities for our students to do co-ops and internships. Um, another thing I love about our location is our front yard is the Tennessee River and our backyard is the Great Smoky Mountains. So if you like outdoorsy things, you can do kayaking or paddle boarding near campus. And about an hour away um, is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, um, which is the most visited national park in the country. And there's over a thousand miles of hiking trails in the eastern part of Tennessee. Um, we are also within a day's drive of half the United States population. So there are lots of fun weekend road trips for our students, about two hours from Asheville, North Carolina, about two and a half hours from Nashville, and about three hours from Atlanta. So Knoxville is a great location. Overall, we have about 24,000 undergraduate students. I think it's a great size. You get all the perks of a big school, big division one athletics, lots of research opportunities. We are a tier one research institution, but it still feels fairly small. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 17 to one and 71% of our classes have 50 students or less. Um, another perk about a big institution is we have over 360 different programs of study. So we pretty much have anything you wanna major in at UT. We do have nine academic colleges. Our Herbert College of Agriculture is home to our vet school, which is one of 30 
30 accredited vet schools in the United States. Our College of Architecture and Design is home to majors like architecture, interior architecture, and graphic design. Our College of Arts and Sciences is our largest college. There's lots of cool, unique, uh, liberal arts type majors. We have a school of music. We have a very well-known forensics program. And it's also home to our pre-professional programs like pre-med, pre-dental. Uh, we have pathway programs with our UT Health Science Center that's located in Memphis. Um, we also have pre-law and we have a law school on our campus. Um, our College of Business has majors from marketing to management, accounting, economics. Um, College of Communication and Information is home to majors like advertising, public relations, and journalism. Our College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences offers te teaching certification in everything but PE. Um, our Tickle College of Engineering has a wide array of engineering majors from mechanical to aerospace to nuclear to the number one metallurgical engineering program in the country. Um, our College of Nursing is direct admit, so you come directly into nursing as a freshman, and our College of Social Work is our smallest college on campus. For students from Virginia, we participate in the academic common market. So if a major is not offered in your home state, you can come to UT for in-state tuition. There are eight majors at UT that qualify. Um, supply chain management is the most popular. It is one of the top five programs in the nation. Nuclear engineering is another popular one for our students. Um, and we are right down the road from Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which is the largest Department of Energy uh, research facility in the country. So there's lots of great research opportunities for our students. And it's also home to the world's second largest supercomputer. Um, other majors include linguistics, interior architecture, anthropology, special education, Portuguese, and sacred music. As far as campus life at UT, you are required to live on campus as a freshman, so we do have a very residential community. We have 14 different residence halls, as well as 14 living and learning communities, so that's where you live with people you share a common interest with. Typically, it's around your major, so you go to class with the people you live with, you can study together, and it's a great way of making your circle of familiar faces a little bit smaller. We have over 600 clubs and organizations at UT, so tons of stuff you can get involved in. Intramural and club sports are very popular. We offer over 40 different club sports. We are Division I. We compete in the SEC, um, so athletic events are a very important part of our campus culture. And behind me, you'll see our stadium, which is one of the top five largest stadiums in the whole country and becomes the fifth largest city in Tennessee on game day. We also have Greek life, so if you're interested in sororities and fraternities, about 23% of our students are involved in Greek life. We're very committed to student success at UT. We have a wonderful Center for Career Development that help you with resume writing, interviewing, help you to get a job. About 84% of our students report being employed during graduate school within six months of graduation. We also have a wonderful academic success center and something that's new this year that shows our commitment to your success are our Vol success teams. That is a team that you are assigned the first day you get on campus that consists of your academic advisor and academic coach as well as a one-stop counselor so that you always have a familiar face you can go to when you have questions throughout your entire four years on campus. Um, again, kind of making it feel like a smaller campus um, so that you always are connected um, to people that can help you be successful. Study abroad, we had um, students in over 50 countries last year and every continent but Antarctica. Um, we are doing campus tours now. We're very excited about that. They are a little bit smaller than they have been in the past. So if you want to come visit, definitely plan that in advance. Um, additionally, we have great virtual opportunities for you. Um, we have a virtual open house coming up next week. So you can learn more about UT in depth. We have virtual tours. You can speak with students. So please check out our website. Uh, you can kind of get a feel about UT without even leaving your couch. So, But we would love to have you on campus um, if you can make it. Um, now you want to apply to UT. Um, we do have an early action deadline of November the 2nd. I encourage you to apply by that deadline if you're interested in, um, in our honors and scholars programs or competitive scholarships. And then we have a regular decision deadline of December the 15th. But we are test optional this year. We have our own VIP application as well as the Common App. So definitely encourage you to apply. Uh, my name again is Amanda Walk um, and I'm your regional admissions representative for Virginia. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or need anything. And thanks for listening tonight. All right, Amanda, I hit uh, screen share instead of turning my video on. So if you want to put up your last couple of oh, slides. Sorry. No, it's my fault. Well, well, my time was up. So that's my information. If you want to write it down, um, please contact me if you need anything at all. Perfect. Sorry to cut you off there. I was giving you your warning and I accidentally ended your entire presentation. Um, so up next, we will hear from Virginia State University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jalen Thomas. I am one of the admissions counselors at Virginia State University. So today I'll be talking to you a little bit about what we do on campus. We definitely have a lot of fun, the application process, scholarships, um, and so much more. So let's jump right into it. 
Um, well, first, let me go back. I'm sorry. Virginia State University, we're located in Petersburg, Virginia, about 30 minutes south of Richmond, um, two hours south of D.C. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of fun on campus. Uh, you have internship opportunities, um, and then we have a great balance of you being able to act, participate in different activities uh, while you are here. So now we can jump right in. Uh, so here's some quick stats about VSU. Um, it really speaks to the family feeling that we have at Virginia State. Um, so we're not that large of a campus. We average around 4,300 students. Um, so you enter that classroom, you will definitely feel like you're at home. You're, you'll feel comfortable enough to go to your professor if you need any extra help or any extra assistance. I encourage you to keep a positive relationship with your professors for those internship opportunities. Many of them have worked in the field or are currently working in the field on the side. So you definitely want to keep a great rapport um, that number of 20 probably may decrease to uh, 15 or 10 when you get into your department course. So definitely you'll have the opportunity to get to know your classmates on a personal level. Um, you'll be able to create group chats, um, you know, to get those group projects done. Or if you need any extra help, you definitely feel comfortable enough to go to the person sitting to the left or to the right of you. Uh, because once again, you'll see them, um, especially from uh, freshman year all the way until senior year. Now, uh, when you are walking around campus, uh, you definitely We'll have a lot of fun. You'll see different things going on uh, depending on the day. Um, so sometimes we have activity hour, and that's just to break up the monotony of the day of going to class, doing homework, getting something to eat, repeat. Uh, so that activity hour ranges from having game trucks to food trucks. Um, you'll see performances. Uh, so sometimes you may walk past Foster Hall, which is our student center, um, and see people getting pied in the face from, like, you know, for a fundraiser. Um, so like I said, different things going on. We have over 90 clubs and organizations to get involved in that cater to singing, acting, dancing, uh, modeling, poetry. Uh, so if you have any talents that you would love to showcase, you can definitely get involved. There's multiple organizations cater to each one. Uh, there's organizations for promoting community service. Um, you can definitely attend our sporting events. We are part of the CIAA conference, um, Division II as well. Um, so obviously our basketball and football games, football games are the ones that are most heavily attended. Uh, they are a lot of fun. You'll see our woo-woos there, our, which are our cheerleaders. We're known for our woo-woos at BSU. So you'll see them. You'll see our Trojan Explosion, uh, which is our band or our pet band, which is the smaller version. So many different ways to get involved. Um, and I encourage you all to do so. That's where you grow. That's where you learn more about yourself um, and seeing how we are one big happy, well, not one big family, uh, joining those clubs and organizations is like joining a like, little mini family within the large family. I will say happy family. We are a happy family. Um, we also have study abroad programs uh, that are available to you uh, each semester. We typically host a passport day on campus as well. So we bring all of those tools that you would typically have to go to CVS or Walgreens to get the picture taken and then go to post go to the post office. Um, all of those things will be brought onto campus so that you could obtain your passport. And we have Greek life as well. So our active divine nine they are all active to my knowledge uh so you have that opportunity as well i always add one key thing and that is discretion discretion is key when joining greek life um and also when you're joining the clubs and organizations um so let's jump into academics we have six academic colleges college of agriculture we are a land grant institution the first hbcu to receive the land grant um so we definitely take pride as a very popular uh, department on campus. We have a farm two miles away from campus that a lot of students use to get that hands-on experience. Um, outside of the agriculture department, biology and chemistry students go down there to, product, to uh, conduct uh, experiments and different projects. So you definitely get the hands-on experience in each of these colleges. Our Reginald F. Lewis College of Business um, is a very challenging and competitive program, but it pushes you to be the best. Um, they have the highest accreditation. The College of Education is an awesome program as well. They really care about you as an individual. They are educators themselves, so they have a passion for what they're teaching you. Our engineering, awesome programs. Uh, mechanical engineering is probably one of the most popular, uh, but you'll definitely get the hands-on experience in that building. They don't have many standard classrooms. In each of these academic colleges, you have internship opportunities. So uh, we have partnerships with a lot of different companies in each of the departments as well. Um, and some of them have entrepreneurship programs built within the department. So we are here to help you to make sure that you succeed while you're here at VSU and once you get out into the workforce. Now let's jump into tuition. Tuition is really straightforward to the point, 9,154, 20,000 for out of state. Um, not included in that will be your room and board, which is an additional 10,000. Do the math, you'll just end up with 22 and 32, a uh, roundabout figure. Our application process. Application is free. 
doesn't take long to do, really quick, really easy, it takes less than 10 minutes, the essay is optional. Um, I do like to point out that these are our averages, so we are accepting students that have above these numbers and below. The million dollar question is, are we test optional? Uh, we are, so if you have a 3.0 or above, you have the option not to submit test scores, and if you fall below that mark, you can still submit your application and transcripts in order to receive a decision from us. Um, here, you have merit-based scholarships that you do not have to do anything additional for. Um, so as long as you submit the required documents along with the GPA and SAT or ACT scores, you can be eligible to receive these merit-based scholarships. Um, these are additional scholarships that we also offer through the university based on your major um, and your local community as well. Um, it's just a simple Google research. There's money out there for everyone and everything, so we don't graduate with so much debt. Um, and this is just a sum of everything that I've gone over. You have, oh, my time is up. Um, there's contact info down there. If you have any questions, um, you can definitely reach out to us, and that is all that I have for you. All right, and then we will hear from Longwood University to end us for this session, and we'll have a few minutes for Q&A. All right, guys, my name is Emily. I am your admissions counselor from Longwood. So let's get into what Longwood has to offer. So looking at campus, uh, we're a four-year public arts uh, institution. We're a state school. Right now, we've got about 5,000 undergrad students on campus and about 700 grad students on campus. What this boils down to is your average class size being around 18 students, a student to faculty ratio of 14 to 1. Um, about 25% of our students identify as ethnically diverse, and then you've got about 70% female, 30% male. Um, and in addition, you've got 20 countries represented on campus right now. We've got over 100 different majors, minors, and concentrations on campus, uh, with our top five being uh, nursing, education, business, criminology, and psychology. So let's talk about what Lancer Life has to offer outside of the classroom. So you're looking at a picture of a basketball team. We are a division one school and we're part of the Big South Conference. Uh, currently we offer six men's sports and eight women's sports on the division one level. Uh, below that you see a picture of bikes and then you see a picture of people acting, a rock wall, um, a, a fraternity event. And so currently we've got about 22 different fraternities and sororities on campus, around 25 different club and intramural sports. Uh, and then you've got 175 different clubs and organizations on campus ranging from the video game club to the anime club, the debate club, the skateboard club, the belly dancing club, uh, Pitch Perfect was an all female acapella group, a couple of different dance teams on campus. Uh, so there's tons of ways to get involved, whether that's through Greek life, uh, community service opportunities, uh, the student newspaper, the student radio station, a group called Lancer Productions in which um, they're put in charge of planning everything fun that happens on campus. So you will find a home here uh, about 30% of our students are active in Greek life. And then we've got a small percentage that are active in division one sports, but a huge percentage of students uh, that are active in either another club organization or a um, club or intramural sport. For admissions, let's talk about the mid ranges for last year's accepted freshman class. So we've got a GPA, SAT and ACT range. I will let you know that we are test optional for the moment. Hoping that this policy sticks for next year. Uh, you are not required to submit an SAT or ACT for admission uh, to Longwood or for admission review. Uh, I will tell you that the nursing program does have uh, a special circumstance in which we still strongly suggest that our nursing students uh, put forth either an SAT or ACT for admission review, but it is not required. It's just strongly suggested. If you cannot submit an SAT or ACT for the nursing program review, you could have the option to be conditionally admitted. And so you'll apply with a test waiver. At that point, if we feel that you're eligible for the nursing program and all other aspects, you can be admitted conditionally. And what will happen is you'll take a biology course and a math course your first semester freshman year. You must pass with a C or better in both of those courses, and then you will be able to continue on with the nursing program. All other uh, majors and fields of study, you will not have any type of conditional admit linked to an SAT or ACT submission. Your application deadlines this year are going to be November 2nd uh, for early decision, and this is for my nursing students only. This is for students who uh, are set on coming to Longwood and you'll end up signing a contract saying so. December 1 is our early action deadline. So there's a lot of reasons to apply for our early action deadline. Uh, this is the final deadline you can apply. Uh, if you're interested in nursing, you've got better opportunities in terms of scholarships and the Honors College. 
How can you complete your application? So you can either submit your application uh, through either our website or we will accept the common application. Uh, after that, you'll submit your high school transcript um, and any community college transcripts if you have taken uh, any dual enrollment courses and would like to get credit for those when you enroll with Longwood. And then test scores again are optional. For nursing, you will have a nursing essay to complete, which will be emailed to you. And then if you decide to apply early decision, you will have an early decision form to sign as well. So let's talk about the cost of Longwood. You're looking at around $25,000 per year for in-state and about 39 for out-of-state. Uh, this is everything rolled into one, so your tuition fees, room, board, everything. Um, you will be eligible for merit-based scholarships among, you know, once you apply, as long as you have a 3.0 GPA or higher. Now, you see that each scholarship has two amounts that you could be eligible for. One of the perks to applying with us for early action is going to be that when you apply before December 1st, you're automatically going to be awarded the higher merit uh, amount. So if you qualify for the Lancer Distinction, you'll automatically be awarded $2,000. We cannot make that guarantee if you apply after December 1st. The only thing you must have uh, for our merit-based scholarships is going to be a 3.0 GPA and higher. And then the only determinant other than your GPA based on how much you get will be what deadline you apply for. So this is all of our contact information, our main line, our text line, uh, and our email. We also have uh, a link that you can visit for any type of in-person or virtual visits. We are hosting on-campus visits at the moment. Um, even though you cannot experience the dining hall or the residence halls, uh, you can go on our website and you can read all about our dining options, um, our residence hall options, um, and get a, a really good feel of what Longwood is like. We're also having a virtual open house this Saturday and again on November uh, 14th. Uh, this is Saturday in November to give you a really great idea of what Longwood is like when you're on campus, because if you were here, you would see the things going on like Oktoberfest, you would see uh, our students doing fundraisers, changing classes, you would see our students mixing and mingling on the lawn, you would see them preparing for spring weekend, and uh, there's a lot of things going on right now that you may miss uh, because of the status of coronavirus. So visit us virtually, visit us uh, on campus, we would love to have you at any point, and please let us know uh, what questions we can answer for you. All right, so that was all of our presentations for this six by six. So I'm going to invite all of the panelists to turn their videos back on for the Q&A. So any of our participants out there, if you have questions for us, type them in the Q&A box. And while we keep an eye on those questions, I'm going to turn it back over to the presenters with a round robin question for everyone. So going back in presentation order, I would love to hear a, a fun fact or a unique tradition, something special about your school uh, that didn't make it into the official presentation, but that you'd love to share with everybody who's watching. So we'll go back, uh, back up to the University of Lynchburg. Uh, so a fun fact about us is that we are, the area that the University of Lynchburg is in is, uh, is Lynchburg, Virginia, um, and that is top three for millennials to move to. Um, so a little fun fact about Shepherd or something fun that we do every year. Um, so our mascot is a ram. So we do have a real live lamb that, or ram, sorry, that is our mascot. Um, his name is JC. We invite him to campus for different events. Um, and every year we actually throw a big birthday party for him that all of our students are invited to. And it's, it's a fun time. We all get together and uh, eat the delicious treats and celebrate our ram. So that's something fun about Shepherd. Just to bounce off of another ram, um, our mascots are rams as well. And so for our freshman class, we have two archways and it's an opportunity for you to walk in as a lamb and you walk through by the time you graduate as a ram. So that's something unique that we do on our campus. Because of our location on the Tennessee River, something that's kind of unique to the University of Tennessee is that we are one of the only places where you can sailgate instead of tailgate. So a lot of our fans will bring their boats to the game and um, they call themselves the Vol Navy. Um, it's kind of exciting. There is like houseboats and all kinds of cool boats. So definitely recommend making friends with somebody that has a boat if you decide to come to UT so you can participate in our sailgating tradition. I think I'm next. Um, so it's not really unique because I think a lot of have it but one of my favorite events would be homecoming 
Um, we're not having it this year, so we're kind of going through withdrawals, but it definitely is a lot of fun. It's one big family reunion where everyone comes back from, I don't know, 66, 74, different years, um, and they are really dedicated tailgating. Not tailgating, but uh, we are tailgating, and we definitely have a lot of All right, so a unique thing that we do at Longwood University uh, is called Color Wars, and this takes place during our big Oktoberfest festival every year. Uh, whether uh, you come in on an even year or an odd year to Longwood, you're either going to be labeled a red class or a green class. All of my red classes, they enrolled in Longwood on an even year, so fall 2020. All my green classes, you guys entered into Longwood on an odd year, so fall 2021. Uh, Color Wars is just a massive paint war between the classes, and so we get in a huge field. Everybody dresses in white. Uh, and there are massive buckets and trash cans full of watered down paint and the red classes get on one side and the green classes get on the other side uh, and a massive paint war ensues and the way we determine the winner is uh, we look at our president's shirt at the end and whoever's got the most paint on his shirt uh, that side wins so it's a bad day to be him <laughs> Sounds like great traditions all. So we'll give it another minute or so to keep an eye on the Q&A and then we'll wrap things up to make sure that we have time for the next sessions that are starting in about 20 minutes. And with that, we'll go ahead and end the session for this hour. I want to say thank you to all of our presenters, all of the participants who joined us today. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at strivescan.com slash Virginia. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com com slash Virginia. So I'm sure I'll see a few of the participants in the next session starting in about 15 minutes. And to all the presenters, again, thank you. And for everyone else, have a great evening.